I would like to give a big thank you to every single person in the comment section yesterday for advice on how to fix Anne. Not a single piece of advice worked, but I appreciate the advice nonetheless. So I spent many an hour resetting her title, her rank, her xenotype, her ideology, her faction, her apparel, everything. Nothing worked. So through a lot of fanning around, deleting Anne's titles, copying Anne with the character editor, deleting the old Anne, she is working and by working i mean when i click on her the game drops to five frames a second working enough <laughs> other than that though everything is identical it's the same and you all know and love and fear and love oh, except for the fact all her thralls died when i reset her but i mean just don't worry about that now i hope you're all sitting comfortably because i'm about to open this episode up with something very action-packed mathematic over the course of an entire real life month god knows how much lsex and gold and quests and drunk beaver babysitting we've done we've got an up to a grand total of 363 honor that's in total and to get up to the rank of high stellar you need 1200 honor in total that means with a little bit of what you children call subtraction we only need 837 more honor however we are not only sat on a stockpile of thousands of gold 14720 to be precise but and i did this specifically to help save on the terrible frame rate that we've got with the brand new and slightly less improved and sideways improved and uh, I have reorganized the entire planetary outpost. By reorganized, I mean uh, everybody is in the mining camps now. Not camps, that's the wrong word. Mining cities. Mining cities besides apparently this restaurant that I forgot about, but don't worry about that. How about the fact that I've basically knocked down, captured, and converted as many people as possible? I have... 64 people deeply in love with Anne. Now with the equivalent of like four colonies worth of people, we are making 5,513 gold from this one and 2,180 gold from this one. Coupled with the 5,513 gold we're getting from one camp and 2,180 gold we're getting from the other, we're going to make a grand total of, and I hope you're sitting down, 22,413 gold. And you're probably wondering how does that add up in terms of honor each honor in rimworld is worth 0.015 when rounded down we are going to make out of the 800 or so honor we need we're gonna get 336 <laughs> less than halfway there <laughs> and look i know what you're thinking how could you go all game playing the good guys only only for now at that final moment to to give up on that to embrace evil and become maybe not so morally good <laughs> well my friends much like the empire i'm afraid i have tricked you all we were in fact the bad guys all along this entire time we were vampires Nobody saw it coming. Besides, I was very careful to make sure they were all enthralled, so they all love Anne. Even though they might not have a passion for mining, just us saying, please go mine for Anne. They would be, they would be all about that life. They all have a metaphorical come box, and that metaphorical come box is named Anne Green. They're, they're happy to work for Anne because they want to. This is what this whole series has been building up to, my friends. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Now we've just got to survive long enough. Luckily for you, although I am a staggering tactics expert and no raid will threaten us oh she's working now why is she suddenly working now oh that's good i think or oh, a terrible sign of things to come i will admit i had a really cool idea what I, what I wished i'd have done before we started here is done a little tiny micro mod tying certain research to certain ranks in the empire because like, i've said this before i think the empire are a bunch of esoteric weirdos i know lots of people see them as you know glorious deus folk crusaders whatever whatever garbage you've made up to justify your strange little hearts of iron s colony they sent us a cat sex slave they are weird they are weirdos they're weird people they're all a bit drugged up and have strange animals as pets okay they're weirdos i wish i'd have made a mod that ties certain research to certain ranks in the empire just purposely for our progression effectively into madness like the gene tailoring stuff put that behind arch duchess but instead we have a mod about and not having any ghosts haunting her and i think that's really special <laughs>
It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. to see her away. Uh oh, stinky. I think I've made another mistake. It's so strange how whenever I put my Piwata vampire sleepy sleepy nap time, I always get raided by people who don't like vampires. It's just so strange every single time. Well, good luck. 16? 16. Oh, it's selected the people that are sleeping. Okay, so it was actually more like. More like seven. Oh, now I was doing a little spring cleaning behind the scenes. You remember how I kidnapped the leader of the Outlander Uni and turned them into a single phage, mind washed them. Mind washed them? Mind washed them? What? <laughs> <laughs> My, you know when you convince someone to do something, but they don't want to do it? Mind washed. That's probably good enough. Maybe that is the word? Anyway, they were all upset about that, so I just blasted them a bunch of advanced components, and that seems to have shut them up. Mind washed? Brainwashing! Oh, you're right. It is brainwashing, you fool. Oh, shit. One of them is non-violent. Well, we're in a lot of trouble here. Wait, where's Mabry? Mabry, get down here. We need all the help we can get, my friend. Oh! Where's that going? Somewhere where I don't care. That's too far for me to worry about. Okay, squad. Good luck. <laughs> I think we're probably going to get doomed. But I, have, I have no choice here. Oh, people are asking, what does Grigna do? Um, you're powered by Grigna. Look, you got some you get some nice bonuses there. A little bit of extra damage. You could dodge something. That's the only ghost we've seen. That's also not a ghost. It's like an apparition. Like a spectral presence. That's not quite the uh, same thing. Please be careful with those. I really don't like fire. They could hit Mona's castle. That, that would be like the biggest problem. Obviously, that's like exactly what happened last time. Oh, Bo Woman's leading the charge. That's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here. We're going to use uh, my good friend and green to call down blood rain. I think that's a good idea. Everyone in the local area will be affected by it. This will lose goodwill with every non-hostile faction. I don't think the Empire is visiting or anything like that. Somebody said, does blood rain put out fires? And you know what? That's a great point. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Is it going to work? Uh, oh my god, it does. Hey, good call, comment section. I mean, it's a little bit late, but good call. Oh, my brain's not a sanguifage. Oh god, I think I've just wiped out our best character. Well, these things do happen, don't they? <laughs> Fight through it, my brain. Fight through it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Careful now. Die. Boil and die. Get down there. Kill them. Kill them now. <laughs> nice. 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 This is going to be a massacre. Wow. They are just totally done for, aren't they? Tomboy's weapon lighting fire to our enemies. Probably a poor idea, given that everybody's... What was that? That was a bloody Molotov. Hey, don't... Don't do that. Don't do that, though. You've got to make me actually try and think about these things a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mabray. To be fair, you've had some cool moments the last couple of episodes. This is just going to, like, humble you a little bit as you vomit uncontrollably <laughs> all over this ruin. <laughs> now, I've had some silly projects uh, kind of going on in the background here. And, of course, one was turning Oscar the Cowboy into an enormous, frightening version of himself. Now, we're going to steal his genes because I want to take those genes and plug them. More specifically, I just want the Titan frame, of course. I want to plug those genes into somebody else. Lots of people pointed out that those are archive genes. I know. We have a mod for that. Don't you panic. Cast unique skill. Mystic weapon summon on stench. What? Cast unique skill. Mystic weapon summon on hair. What does that do? Huh. Well, that was really cool. How did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool and i have no idea how or why that happened i don't know what why she's suddenly able to do that i don't know what's allowing her to do that i mean i didn't want to try it on an enemy because we might have just given them a really cool mystic weapon some of mystic weapon could be like give it as a gift or it could be bombard a uh, hair with the whole armory oh my god deadlift grew baby deadlift oh my god God, look at you. Oh, these learning vats are so good. Oh, a little bit overpowered, but very, very good. Holy shit. Um, we could just, like, let you out now, right? Oh, but the problem is, what am I going to do with baby deadlift? I can't send them to the mine. I would never. We're going to go let them start a farm of their own. You are a plant character called deadlift. We've already got two plant knights. Okay, I can't have any more. Sir person, ask. 
Gar. There we are. Test gene version one. And then we throw in the other person who is just objectively better in every way because we've got a 50% chance of getting some gene that I want. But you see, it is very funny that we made the sex slave cat boy an enormous, enormous man. Oh, I never considered the ramifications. Ramification being the operative word. I think that's just about the only way you could describe whatever he's going to do from now on as his form of employment. Hello. How long does that take? A very long time. I'm very impatient today. Oh, Christ. Okay, let's get it over with. Sorry? Did nothing happen then? We didn't get a pop-up saying like, hey, quest complete, good work. Oh, well, I guess, nope, Slippery's Night Ceremony is still clearly an acolyte. Oh, God. Nope, she's right there. She is actually ascended beyond even the knights. This game has got a mind of its own. <laughs> Everything's broken. Now suddenly it's fixed. Anne can't do anything. Now Anne's back totally under our control. I don't know what's happening. Oh no. <laughs> can I be trusted with that? I think I can be trusted with that. That's it. We're out of research again. Amazing. Well, I mean, until we get some more Teprins. I bought two Teprins for Helomex serums. That would be pretty nice. I've been complaining all this time that we haven't had any way to regrow really limbs. Except for like, you know, the Psy powers and the... The Sanguifage powers and the, the Helomex serum we've already got in storage. But other than that, we've really got no way to regrow limbs. How do we get? We got perfect body and something. What does perfect body do, huh? What is that? What is that? What have you given me? Perfect. Yeah, wh where's the other one, though? Damn you. I mean, I could probably just look at their Xenotype and that will tell us that we got demon wings. We got demon wings. Oh, a mech cluster. We love a mech cluster. I'll take a mech cluster. Um, Allo. Oh, yes, that's fine. Uh, Aloe is a capable of social tasks. People with royal difficulties have a greater need of social. So if she gains a title, she will have a difficult time. Another color that's maybe more socially adept. You know what? It's not about how socially adept you are. It's about how much you're willing to wake up at four in the morning to retrieve your goals. <laughs> oh, no, don't land there. You big mechanoid bitches. Well, they did cave in a lot of the mountain on themselves there, so that solves some of the issue. Oh, well, that's good. You're really giving us a fighting chance. Hey, 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 can I set target with those? Damn. I was hoping I could get you to shoot that. Oh, it's a low shield. Is that it? Is it just a low shield? Is that a high shield? <gasps> it's just low shields. Mona. Mona, at long last, I'm going to use this power. Luckily for us, everybody and their mother is almost awake. Well, I mean, except for... Like, actually, Mona's mother, but... <laughs> Don't think about that too much. Oh, God, save my man. Oh, my poor turrets are getting absolutely peppered. And they can't fire in to help each other. Where's Mona? Is she missing a leg? Why is she so slow? Consciousness 80%. Why, though? What is in the CC production? Yeah, but why, though? Oh. This person is the target of a parasitic psychic bond from another person. Oh. Tomboy's sucking up her power. Oh, Christ. But uh, it has made Mona... It's stronger and more abrasive than usual. Huh. Okay, jetpack. Jetpack. I know I'm using up all the jetpack fuel just to get over there, but I think it's I think it's a good reason when uh the movement speed is so diminished. Um if we took her there behind cover, you lot come back because you're you're basically just baiting them out for no reason. Here we go. Oh, you big mechanoid bitches. Oh, you big mech Oh, it's on cooldown. Fine, calling the friggin' Janissaries. You're about to call for aid, but there are people from the factions whom the Shattered Empire are not hostile to. Any soldiers you call will not attack them. Stellar Inquisition. What? What the hell do you mean, Stellar Inquisition? There isn't anybody from the Stellar Inquisition. Oh! Oh, there's Pete after that raid yesterday. Well, I mean, yesterday for you people. But today for me. Because it was <laughs> midnight. Get him! Get him, boss! Oh, God. You know, I feel like that was just a horrendous idea in hindsight. Those Janissaries I've just sent to their death. I suppose that is part of being the Empire, though, huh? Um, Mona. You could do some good work here, Mona. Leap, leap. Leap and execute. Go. Kill. Oh, good enough. Don't even use your execution. That's fine. Then we can take out that. No! I think that was a good use of an execution, all things considered. Stinky branches. Go! I'm a genius. I just tried to grow trees on water. And you say I never use any abilities. Ah! Oh, she's on water. She can't catch fire. Come on, Mona. Come on, Mona. Oh! She just killed one and then lassoed over the other. Holy shit. That's amazing. Here come the cavalry at long last. Thank you for joining us. Oh, that was easy. That was way easier than I thought. But I suppose we really should be rescuing these people, shouldn't we? Given that we are... I mean, we're the Empire. It'd be a bit cruel not to. Who's that tiny child I sent to their death? Oh! Well, put up my ass and call up Bazroto. It's... 
The Undead Hordes. Oh, Jesus Christ. 70! <laughs> well, I think we're... Clearly, clearly we're prepared. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunately terrible timing, wasn't it? Uh, let's just pull back slightly and let's... um. We've blown the bridge. That was a good tactical play. I like it. Very intentional. Let's get this freaking child out of here. Get out of here. Hello, you'll have to wait. Hello's our final noble, so that's going to be kind of a big deal. Zen, of course, went on their quest to complete and then everybody's noble. We're all friends here. Ah, don't break, don't break, don't break. I know there's fire. Don't break. Okay, I think she's good. Who has some sort of power off of cooldown that I can call in a aerodrone strike? That's what we're after. Bazroto, this is your day, my friend. Has anybody else got some? I think I've been picking generally like the offensive powers with a lot of these people because... You know, we're not doing so good on that front. Aerodrone strike, that'll do. Three aerodrone strikes should take out 70 people. I certainly hope so. Oh, shit, they run fast. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. Let's take out the first few. There's Baz Roto, Cops, and Petit Pois. You lot are going to move over here, and then we're going to use your aerodrone strikes. Oh, bring him down, Legolas. What the hell is that little imp thing? What the hell are you? It is an imp. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. That's crazy. Oh, these are frightening. Seth Gortmaker. I like the name. Um, okay, call in an aero drone strike. Like, like right there would be amazing. Baz Roto, let's call in an aero drone strike like there. That would be sick. And then Petit Pois. Let's split the difference. Let's just throw like another one. Another one like, I don't know, there. Oh, shit, you can't see anything. Petit Pois. Okay, aero drone strike. Like, right there. Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that wasn't nearly as impactful as I hoped. Oh, shit. I mean, it looked good. We're good for a second. Um, go call in some friends though, because that's our, that's our, like a lot of people. Another aerodrome strike. Yeah, yeah. Let's like drop that shit there. Um, Pierpos, Pierpos. Another aerodrome strike. You know you'll have to see it. Fire another one there. Oh, Tomboy, Tomboy, Tomboy's got a Janissary squad. Fine, fine, fine. Bring in more Janissaries. That's good. And then, okay, friendly shattered empire. And then what have you got? A trooper squad. Fine. Send them. Send them in. Do we need them? Probably not. But I'll be honest, I don't use them very... Oh, <laughs> I don't use it very often anyway, so we might as well embrace it a little bit. Let's get our people back. Baz Roto's already down. Oh, Baz Roto. Is he going to be okay? He's not on fire. He's not on fire, so in theory we should be fine. Okay, can we do anything else here? Have we got anything else from these ones before they drop? Oh, let's just call in the troopers. Fine. Okay. Don't mean like this is okay, though. They did tell us it would be like 30 people, not... 70 people, but sometimes these things happen, right? Here, just send in the whole army. Just send in the whole army. For the rare drone strike. Oh. Oh. Just go, go send it like send it like there. Good shit. Come on. Send the strike. Oh, they're not very accurate with those, are they? Fucking Empire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move like all the way back because there's fire absolutely everywhere. It's like somebody keeps calling in airstrikes. <laughs> oh shit, there it goes. Okay. I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. We've got a lot of allies down here now all helping out. I don't like the fact that we are fighting, like, demons from hell with enormous frightening anchors and fire. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. There's a river right there, cops. Just jump in. You know, I said, like, this will definitely be enough. <laughs> I think I might be mistaken. How are you lot doing? Piss off, piss off, piss off. Okay, have I got anything else I can call in? Uh, call another trooper squad. I'm okay. I mean, I could use some of their powers. I don't know how well Tox Clouds will affect enormous demons, and I'm surely not going to pause the game to find out. Oh my god, have we actually got nothing left? Well, that's it. I've pulled out, I've pulled out all the stops here. Um, so now I'm going to have to actually press some other buttons. Go, Combat Command, Demon Mode. I think it's really necessary to use a lot of these other Sanguifage powers, the ones that do, like, the minor amounts of damage. Summon Dryads. We do love some Dryads. Oh, I forgot Allo could summon Dryads. Shit, that was so long ago now. Um, I mean, Shrine Shield would be amazing if we had some Shrines nearby. Probably couldn't hurt to build some around the turrets. This is chaos. This <laughs> is absolute chaos. <laughs> Are gonna be sipping on the finest demon blood. Tumgi. Tumgi, run, there's a demon after you. Oh, shit, Tumgi's back. Oh, I didn't hear no bell. Here, um, call a laborer team. Call a laborer team. Now nah, we're good. If you could just, like, shoot that demon, though. If you could, like, shoot that demon. Oh, shit. Uh, Tumgi, you're a demon of your own right. Just get, jump away. Jump away. Give him a, give him a, give him a blast. Blast him. What are, you, what are you going to? What, what are you doing? Digging at collapsed rocks. What are you doing, though? Take him out, Tumgi. You're the hunter now. I think we're good. They're not fleeing. Why are they digging through the mountain? Are they going for Bow Woman? They're trying to get to my damn pyramid. I guess it's because it's, like, the easiest thing to get to with so much colony wealth. Huh. Get him, Tumgi. Get him, Tumgi. Tumgi, you don't need to get quite so close. Tumgi, Tumgi, Tumgi. Try to kidnap cops. You try to kidnap cops. Tomboy, we got a demon of our own, you big bitches. Get him. 
Get him. I don't really don't like using a fire weapon. <laughs> she's still a Sengra face. She's still afraid of fire. So she'll light an enemy on fire and then immediately realize what she's done. Oh, we are going to be eating well tonight. Look at this. The tastiest of meals. Have you got fucking Baz Roto? Have you got Baz Roto? You think this is a game? You think you just run off with Baz Roto, huh? You son of a bitch. You actual son of a bitch. Go kill that demon for me. Oh, General Kenobi. Hell yeah. I think it's over. Wow, that was a lot of chaos very fast. I liked it. That's good. Man, I really want a series where we just have like 100 people fighting 100 people, but it's not a horrible laggy mess. So I'm going to start playing Mountain Blade Banner Lord. <laughs> Hold on, let's rescue our people first, I suppose. And then I want to capture as many demons as possible because I feel like they would make a delicious... Just like a delicious meal. It was only Baz Roto and Cups that went down. Oh, we really didn't do it nearly as bad as I thought. And then we'll just start capturing all the all the spooky looking fellas. Oh my god. That's why Mabro wasn't in the combat. The mechanoids caved the bloody well, cave in. She couldn't she couldn't get out. No wonder I had to call in all of that other crap. Good lord. They caved in in two places. Oh man. That's kind of cool. The mechanoids knew what a, a mighty, powerful warrior Mabre was. That explains why they were trying to dig through the mountain as well, because there were obviously people over there, Bowen and Mabre. Ha <laughs> Jonathan, you are lagging my game. The, the best part is, right, a lot of these things are unkillable. They, they go into death rest or whatever. They're undead. They're returned. They're demons, etc., etc. So we haven't even got to worry about the fact that I'm capturing, like, hundreds of people to fill my prison up with. Because, of course, we wouldn't normally be able to tend even remotely close to that. I'm going to worry about it. Just let him die. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to need some more drain caskets, aren't we? Oh, is this what I'm going to do? Shall we just send it? Because we don't need any more people. Oh, I, sp I suppose any good miners will send to help out with the gold fund. Everyone else... We drain casket them. I, I mean, I'm sure the Empire wouldn't mind if we're putting literal demons and zombies and uh, beings from hell in drain caskets. They wouldn't mind. To be fair, they probably wouldn't mind anything we're doing because we're very rich and very powerful. How much steel have we got? 3,000. What do we need for drain caskets? Steel and gold and components? Exactly that in that order. Um, Bruh, where am I going to put these? I haven't got anybody who can dig anymore because Baz Roto has become, become a noble. He's all conceited now. Well, let's be realistic here. Even the, the all these extra people that we've got, even though I filled up the rest of this room with more and more drain caskets, it's still not keeping the network active because we've got, you know, like quite a few Sanglophage, if you haven't noticed. I guess we'll just go through, find the ones with, like, no mining skill and just slam them in a drain casket then. Why not? Please, please I'm just a sweet boy. What's wrong with you? Ah, oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We can manage this. It's just some people. I mean, look, all these defenses I've built were basically good to fight any sort of raid. Where the hell are we going to fight them? Like, back here? Uh, yeah, you know, I think that works well. I think we're good. This could very much be the end of Anne Kind as we know it. How long till she's awake? 16 hours. Okay. I'm really glad I used that uh, sword ability on that rabbit. I feel I feel much better about uh, about my choices. It would be a shame if she had like arrow drone salvos, the ability to call in cataphrite squads or anything like that. We don't need that. As long as we taught that rabbit a lesson. But I'd have known pressing that button would knock Anne out for, you know, like 20 days would I have pressed it? Nope. No, I probably wouldn't. I'll admit that. Okay, fuckers. Let's see what we can do then. I'm just going to go through every single power. Gold! Gold! And uh, what else do you had there? You had like wood and silver. Oh, this is good. It's not going to save us, but at least I can drown in my riches. Oh, shit. Pazroto has a striker drop for turrets. I've checked all the permits as well. Um, There are no permits left. We've got one more aerodrome strike. Ideally, I'd drop it there. But to be fair, I'm not even sure that would put much of a dent in them. I think it's just... The only things that really we can use now, we've got Trooper Squad, I guess I'll send in. We've got just, like, honor-based stuff. And I'm, I'm happy to spend a bit of honor to keep us alive. I think that's a fair trade. It's a little annoying, given that the whole point of this was to build up honor, but that's okay. I think we'll, I think it's an acceptable loss. If we put Mabre there and Sail there, the numbers will count for nothing. Let's see if we can bait them in. Maybe, that, maybe they'll go for them. Oh, maybe not. Shit. Uh, you can crush someone's heart. That's quite a helpful power. Let's go crush some hearts. Mabre, you know what? Get stuck in. Get stuck in. What's the worst they can do? Kill you? I mean, yes. You are just a perfectly normal person. <laughs> the bulk of their forces are stuck. Why are they stuck? Who had the arrow drone strike? Was it Toomgi? Toomgi, you might just be about to save this whole colony, my friend. Leap. Leap fast. 
This could be amazing. I, I don't think we're going to get enough time. I think they'll probably start dispersing by the time she gets within weapons range. Oh, shit. Maybe not, though. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe not, though. Tumgi, colony savior. We can at least do a lot of damage. It won't kill them. Ah! Bruh. Destroyed by what? How the fuck was that my fault? Oh my god, the turret exploded and hit one of the troopers we called him from the Empire and now they're hostile to us and we failed that quest. <sighs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. They're here to fight for us. Oh, but don't let them die in combat, though. Ooh, ooh, don't let them die in combat. Uh, that seems like an oversight, and uh, that's total bullshit. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take the L. That's, uh, that's real bullshit, though. I'm going to be honest. I can't call it the fucking arrow drone strike now. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off to death. Fuck off to death. Mabray, kill someone, for God's sake. And now people are all about to catch fire. Oh, is this just like the end, then? This is it. Because of some arbitrary bullshit. Oh, the turret that we sent you blew up and killed one of our people. That's your fault. And we're going to break all all, all that relationship. Forget about being arch dust, Jess. You're fucking done. Now, Toongi's just like getting ripped apart. Oh. That's borderline like reload worthy. But fuck it. I'm just going to take I'm gonna take the hits. We're just going to roll with it. Fair enough. If one of our people had shot them with the enormous crossbow. Fair enough. You know what? That, that makes sense. That, that was like actually our fault. That was just total ignorance there. Oh, fuck. Mabra's down and on fire. This is such fucking bullshit. I just want to, like, quit. Fuck it. No, I am going to quit. Ah, it's a video game. I can do what I like. Oh, my God. A raid from the undead hordes. Who saw that coming? Huh? <laughs> but just remember, kids. You can call in troops. Just make sure you don't use them for combat. Okay, don't use those troops for combat. That's not That's not fair. Oh, I accidentally drafted these people at this time. Hey, run away. You were like, run away, though. That was a dream. It was a dream and was dreaming. She was dreaming of them fucking up her empire. And she was like, my God, what are they doing out there? But she needs to have more faith in her people. That would never happen. Surely the empire wouldn't be so unreasonable to send you troops and then be upset when those troops die in combat. No, 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 no. Fuckers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call in the turrets. Remember, don't call in the troops. I'm going to call in the turrets. And then I'm going to uh, do that. That's it. I guess. I'll call an aero drone strike if they bundle up again, which they have. I don't know why they keep doing that. It's very strange. We'll just let you go... Oh, man, we could we could still probably pull this off. Hang on. Let's round two. Let's try this again. Again, if Tumigi dies in this plan, that's my fault. That's totally my bad. I would never reload. I would never reload at that point. Uh, <laughs> I will reload for... Uh, that is stinky bullshit, though, that's going to give us a game over. Oh. You know what? Actually, this is going a lot smoother. Wait. Tumigi, Tumigi, Tumigi. Tumigi, call aid. Aerodrome strike. Can she send it? Oh, my God, she can send it. Tumigi. Tumigi. Tumigi! I mean, it, again, they're, they're really inaccurate, but I suppose it's uh, it's, it's acceptable enough. Get out of there. My brain sale have just been, like, ripped apart. Man, these demons are tough, huh? Holy crap. We are, like, getting overwhelmed. If <laughs> only I could call him friends. Oh, fuck. What the hell do you mean, fleeing fire? It's miles away. What are you talking about, fleeing fire, you coward? We've only got to kill, like, 30 of them, ultimately. And I imagine we're probably not far off of that already. Unless they, you know, like, don't flee when we... Kill lots of them. Actually, you know what? That, that aerodrome strike did more damage than I gave Toomgi credit for. Toomgi, Toomgi, Toomgi. Come back, come back, come back. Nice. Oh, nice. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Leap over. How long till Anne's awake? Uh, is there any possibility of her helping out? 14 hours. Probably not. I think we'll be long dead before then. Let's just keep keep pulling back. Keep using the turrets to our advantage, really. Thank you, Cops, for finally joining us. Zen's flaying the fire now. Zen, it's so far away. It's so far away. My God. Come on, come on, come on, Zen. Zen, 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 Zen. Zen. Break out of it. Break out of it. Break out of it. Come on. Come on, Zen. Oh, luckily we got some good we got some good cover. We've got some great cover. Ah! Uh! Zen's leading them to the library. Honestly, oh, I was gonna say I don't hate it, and then you immediately get stabbed. Okay, can we Can we get you out of there at all? Probably not. We could maybe razzle dazzle them around the Ah! Uh! We can maybe razzle dazzle them around the gas uh, around the desks. Oh my god, I am full back again because they've caught us once more. Oh my god, and when they die, they oh I was gonna say when they die, they blow up. That's clearly a Go an explosive belt. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Wow. Wow, there's still a hideous amount of the Mabra's not like on fire. Oh, Sale's gonna die. I'm sorry, I think this is probably the end of Sale. How am I supposed to fight past this to get to them? I could maybe leap like one, two, three. 
even then, if we grab them... I, I, I'm asking myself, is there anybody I'm willing to risk to trade for sale? I'm looking at this lineup, and I'm thinking, absolutely not at all. If it was Mabray, I'd probably take the gamble. But I'm not so concerned about sale. These things happen. We'll take deadlift in. We'll take deadlift to replace sale. I'm all right with it. That's, that's, that's a happy trade. If we keep retreating back far enough, eventually we can use that skip gate power that Mona has around the shrines. I mean, um, oh, I don't know any of their powers. What am I expected to do here? <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, none of the combat commands are off of cooldown, are they? Oh, Mona's ears. That's good. The Volkers just expired before they turned up. Shit. Oh, they're leaping away. Oh, that's good to see. Bazroto, speaking of which, you should probably get out of there, fella. Appreciate you fighting to the bitter end, but my god. Wow. Wow, this was chaos, wasn't it? I'm not even sure we've killed that many. There seems to be fucking loads left. Holy shit. If we can get to the shrine. Just get to the shrine. There's only melee characters we'd have to worry about then. And melee is, like, pretty much our strong suit at this point, eh? Speaking of which... <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> Did we finally... Fa we we've met our match. A faction of, of undying demons seems... Oh, my God. I thought Mona was down then. Undying demons seems like a pretty good matchup for us. Especially when they got this many. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm just going to leap him to there. It's a bit crap, but it's the best we can do. Go, 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 go. Let's leap you over to here. Why is Bazaroto so slow? Is he missing a leg? Uh, just severe blood loss. Okay, we'll, we'll give him a obviously daisy Healy power in a second. Wow, what a mess. I think we've got to be almost done though, right? Oh, allo! Ah, shit. Okay, Mona, let's send it then. Wait, are they all melee characters? No, they're not. But all the ones that have survived are melee characters. In fact, there's probably only a dozen left. There's not that many left. Okay, you know what, Mona? Let's just send it. Let's just send it. Okay, so we use this one. And that turns it into a ah protective barrier from your good pal Mona. I like it. Cops, be careful. Don't get caught up in that. Okay, you know what? Honestly, it's fine though. Zen's down. What happened to Zen? Zen got ah. Shit. Well, it was brave. I think I can save Zen, so I'm not really that concerned. I think I, I think I can get Zen out of there. Cause I'm gonna give Cops some cover so they can retreat. Hey, stop running and gunning a second. Let's just get you out of there first. Focus on focus on your your escape. This is good. This is like a great place to be. Good defensive structure. They can't... Oh, it's already out. Oh, shit. That didn't last nearly as long as I was hoping, huh? Um, we've got an auto cast, so maybe it'll happen again at some point. I slapped down another big old brambly forest there. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Wow, they really are fighting to the end. They're not retreating or anything. Here, uh, who's got, a, who's got jump capabilities? P Petit Poir, let's go rescue Zen before they turn to Ash. Luckily, it seems like we get quite a long time, judging by the fact that Sail's still going before the fire will kill them dead for good. Are we done? Oh my god, I cannot believe we survived that. No, I cannot believe we survived that. It was like three consecutive raids. And lots of fire. People famously don't really like fire. Just just, yeah, just pick them up. There you go, there you go. Okay, so we're probably going to lose Sail. But again, I'm not really so upset about that because... Oh, Sail. Sweet Jesus, Fireside is 175. I'm not really so upset about that because we'll just swap them for Deadlift. And I'll be honest, the tiny little pharaoh baby joining the Egyptian faction about melee. Uh, the baby's called Deadlift. That's just so perfect. I, could, I couldn't have come up with anything better. Allo, honestly, death by firing squad for desertion. Somebody, somebody tempt Pazaroto quick. Go, get, get him. Get my man. And you're good. Well, that was fun. I like the bit where we almost, um, we had that horrible uh, nightmare about ruining everything with the Empire. That was good. It's just a case of taking out the stragglers now, huh? Just like a couple more remaining. I think we can, I think we can manage that. I think we'll be fine. Toomgi, don't get too close. That is an enormous demon. I don't think you noticed that. Go. Go. Why did you swap to the hammer? Why did you swap to the hammer? That's very bizarre. You've got a better weapon right there, my friend. Right, just honestly, just kill him at this point. Good God. Good God, this fire though. Sale, uh, sale might be saveable. Oh, 0 0.2 hours. Have I got anyone nearby? No, sadly not. And there's still a lot of them hanging around. They're just not doing anything. They're just wandering. Oh, sale, I'm sorry. Oh, sale, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You fought bravely. You know what? We've got to get you a tomb. Monitor through death rest. You're really just not burning away, though, huh? Oh, you are. It's just taking a while because it's very cold. What a horrible nightmare. <laughs> Hypothermia. Your limbs are dropping off from the frost as other limbs are being burnt away. That's horrific. Hell for sale. Oh, God. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll save you. Lilu. 
Lilu. Okay, rescue, rescue, rescue sail. How's Mabray doing? You're not bleeding out or anything. Bleeding out in eight hours. Oh, shit. Well, we've managed to save sail. Sorry, uh, deadlift. That was almost your time. Get Mabray saved. Nice. That'll do. That'll do. We're not going to lose anyone today. God damn you to hell. What an absolute mess. That was three consecutive raids back to back without Anne, which was a massive pain in the ass. Without Bo Woman, one of our best melee fighters going. And I think the quest lied to us. So roughly two times strength? Roughly this size. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? Wowee. That was, that was terrible. We just did all that for 12 honor. That was not worth it. So I think we're done for today. I'm going to leave the episode here so I can tidy everything up ahead of Anne becoming Hi, Stellark. And you know what? Even though Anne had to sit it out because of the whole rabbit situation, I would do it again in a goddamn heartbeat. Thank you all for joining me today. Again, a little bit of a mess, but we're all, we're all fine. We got through it. We got through it without any sort of incident, too. That's surprising. Wow. <laughs> I'm so angry about that. Thank you to Exodus2169, Soko, Psycho Fire, Christian, Shell Decker, Hudzu Wudzu, The Chicken, Rambler, Uno, Archbishop, Super Awesome, Goku, Pet Fiend, Flight Gamer, Little Fisher, Fake, Baumalign, Amu, Nuanced Far, Londar, Lady Jade, Floor, 1, 2, 3, 5, Space, Urban Cohort, Fionia, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, The Legend, Boss, Kende, Hajdu, Cuddles, Azazel, Validus, Torius, Kyle, Neil Draith, Ziggy, and Lapis Golem. Lots of people today for our executive producer tears. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Thank you for bearing with me. The series has been, again, maybe not exactly what I had in mind when I set out to do it, but giving me, I think there's been some great moments. And honestly, I think this has been one of the best series ever for actual character development, giving them all that kind of distinct style and job type and bases. I think that's worked really well. And that'll be something I try and integrate into future series, but in a bit more of a, maybe a bit more of a natural way, kind of let it develop over a long period of time, rather than just being like, carve out this mountain, build everything, etc., etc. Thank you as well to P Pal Tala Mort, 10,000 pounds of flax, James Gallery, The Merp, Kai, Gory. I left the game on pause. What the fuck was that? We'll worry about that tomorrow. Gory, Gabriev, Elliot Sandage, Fred, Elias Falberg, Corrupt Racer, Aaron McBride, Max Diesel, Daniel Bauman, Ugami, Granny Gosler, Asgarin, Lassero, Kutakuti, Adamski, XD, Clint the Master Blacksmith, Noteworthy, Night Lucia, Kreeft, and Milky Milk. What a goddamn mess. Oh, it's okay. It's just two people going on prison break. We're fine. See you all tomorrow. Hopefully, Roman will come out first tomorrow.